Hello, my name is David and I'm going to show you how to do a walk cycle animation on this little green guy here. Um, obviously I'm using Blender here. Um, uh, this tutorial is intended for people who do sort of know um, their basic way around Blender. I, might, I may do other tutorials at another stage that show you the basics, but this is basically animation and about animation. Anyways, over here this dope sheet editor will be using a lot of the time. Um, what I like to do um, when I'm uh, recording, or well not recording, um, making animations, I like to do the first frame and then the end frame, then I can work sort of in the middle and work out the details and tweak it and stuff. Obviously this is in another pose here. So on frame 0, I'm going to select everything with A, and then press Alt-R, Alt-G, and series them out. And then I'm going to go to the last frame, which is frame 32, because I want it to be, well, 30 frames long roughly. Um, and then I'm going to press Alt-R, Alt-G. So now I have this clean workspace with nothing in it. On the first frame here, we're going to start by uh, we're going to take the foot here and move it this way, and this foot, move it this way. Obviously that doesn't look great. The hips come down during the stride, so I'm just going to move them down. And then I'm going to take this and roll the foot up like that. And this foot is rolled forward like that. So that is sort of the extreme pose. So if I just capture the two feet bones, the roll bones, and the hip are the, the bones we changed, and I'm going to then copy them up like this and go to the middle frame, frame 16, and copy them flipped, and then go to the last frame and copy them normal. So now we get this, which looks great. Obviously it needs a lot of tweaking because it just looks like he's sliding his feet along the ground. So what we're going to do now is go to the middle frame, which is frame 8. And obviously the feet are exactly the same position because that's the way we set them up, which is good, but doesn't look very realistic. So in this stride, the hips move up. The foot that's coming forward Actually, we start with a foot that's coming back. The foot that's coming back, which is this one, um, tends to be flat on the ground at this point. Um, and the foot that's coming around, just press Control 3, look at the other side. The foot that's coming around tends to be rotate, tends to be angled down and his knee tends to be bent because he's obviously he's lifting up his foot and he's bringing it forward so again let's copy all those bones and the hip copy them and move into frame 24 and paste them flipped remember you must paste them flipped so now we should get this which looks great he's actually starting to walk now that was very simple that was a very quick setup of animation Obviously the arms look kind of stupid because they're not moving. So what we're going to do um, is just go back to the extreme poses again. Oh, by the way, I haven't told you this. I've got um, automatic keyframe insertion down here. See where my mouse is? That is meaning I don't have to press um, I and put a thing in. So put his arm down here and rotate his hand in. Also make sure there's not too much bend in the elbow. Um, but it's not straight because that looks stupid as well. And then copy them, paste them flipped, do to the other arm. And then also arms tend to move in the opposite direction to their corresponding foot, if that makes sense. So the so at this pose here, the right foot is back, so the right arm is going to be forward. Oops. So move it forward and. Again, arms don't move very much while you're walking, so don't overdo it. Overdoing it is the biggest problem in animations looking bad. Because um, the movements, unless you want them to be intentionally overdone, which you very rarely would, I'm just copying this here, there, um, you, you don't need to um, paste flip, you don't need to overdo the animation, because it's just stupid, it's just going to look silly. So. Ooh, what's going on here? I've done something wrong. So I'm going to copy, go in the middle here, copy, flipped, and then. Oh, I see what I've done. Look. 
pasted them in the wrong frame. Um, so let's just delete that. Oops, and X delete. Okay. So now the arms move, which looks great. Now there's a few more things. I don't know if you can see there that the head is moving a little bit, but not as much as the body. And the reason that is, is because on the spine bone here, I've got custom properties set up, which are they're controlling the influence of, of, of the head, the head's movement and rotation from the body. So currently you can see they're not moving they're not fully influenced so the head is moving a little bit but not fully and if you want to learn how to do these properties please leave a comment or drop me a message on Twitter or something I will do the tutorial because um, it's something that not a lot of people do not a lot of people know how to do it so if you want to know how to do it just just tell me I will make the tutorial for you um, so anyways that's how that's done the next thing we're gonna do is people tend to rock or monsters in this case tend to rock from left to right their shoulders and their upper body tend to rock from left to right while they're walking now this is something that you really mustn't overdo so be sparing with this um, what we're gonna do is rotate this ever so slightly to the one side and copy that and paste it on the last frame. We can't paste it flipped in the middle because it's the, the flipped only works with the two left and right bones. So here we just have to move it like that. So now he's rocking. Not too much, just a little bit and it looks kinda cool. Now the last thing we're gonna do is get the tail moving because I don't know if you've ever seen your your cat or your dog walking um, they tend to move their tail, especially dogs, cats not so much to move their tail in time with with the walking so again this is something to be used very sparingly and don't overdo it because the animation will just look silly so I'm just going to go just a little bit of movement there you go actually that's probably a little bit too much if we just um, turn the, the armature off we can see how that looks and that looks great in my opinion absolutely brilliant Anyway, so um, that's that. Thanks for watching. The next tutorial will be about bringing this character in, textures, um, normals, animations, everything into the Unity game engine, and also how to use the animations in code. So please come back to watch that video. Um, that'll be, um, it should be out several days after this video is up. So subscribe and uh, come back to watch the video. Anyways, thanks. Oh, and don't forget to like the video.